sorry I'm late. Where have you been? I was working late with Phil. Why didn't you call me? I did. I, I called you at quarter five, but there was no answer. Then I got in, I got working and forgot. You knew I had to go to the cleaners late this afternoon. So you try to tell me you called me then. Look, I tell you, I did call and then I got involved. What's gotten into you anyway? Just, just what did you get involved in? That's what I'd like to know. Well, Phil and I are working out a little packaging problem. You see, we're trying to figure out a way to get a cap on a tube without using any metal so as to Where save money. Where did all this take place? Hey, let me ask you a little question. What's the idea of the third degree? You know perfectly well what the idea is, and don't try to change the subject. I asked you where you were working. Well, we couldn't very well work at the plant on our own stuff, so we went over to Mike's Grill. Oh, that's great. I suppose you went up to her apartment afterwards. You had plenty of time. Apartment? What are you talking about? You crazy? Don't you believe anything I tell you? I don't believe you were working so hard at Mike's Grill that you couldn't even call me up. In fact, I don't believe you were working at all. Who were you really with? That, that little blonde secretary from the office? Oh, look, we're, we're going to get the jealous wife back now. I told you that I was working. I told you what I was working on. I told you where and with whom. Well, if you don't believe me, it's, well, it's just too bad. I've been watching you lately, noticing things. You come home late almost every night from the office. You sneak out to mail letters. You flirt with other girls everywhere you go, even on the street when I'm with you. How can I believe you? Because you were in a couple of plays once doesn't mean that you have to dramatize everything. But you know how hard I've been working recently. Well, I have to work hard if I'm going to make a success of this thing. Now, please. Try and be reasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. I just want to know what you've been doing lately. Oh, you want a day-by-day -day account of everything that... What's the matter? There! I knew it all the time! Lipstick! You deceitful liar! But Who is she? Just tell me her name. That's all I want to know. Who is she? Just tell me her name. But darling, will you... Don't try to lie your way out of this. You... You won't... Look, will you let me explain? I don't want the lurid details. Just tell me her name. You might as well tell me. All right, since you want to know so bad, I will tell you. This is Lorraine Casey's lipstick, and it got on there when we were... Just your speed. The cheapest woman in town. Why, she has a worse reputation than some of the women who go to her beauty shop. And everybody in town knows what they are. Now, look, you've got Lorraine all wrong. Oh. We were working on... Your dinner's in the garbage can. I threw it out. And you can get out, too. Maybe your girlfriend will feed you. I won't. You little dope. Everybody in town will know about it. I wish I were dead. <laughs> How could he even talk to her? I tried so hard to be a good wife. I put up with so much. His crabbing, his insults, his stupid temper. He never loved me. I was a fool. Lorraine Casey. I wonder, do people see them together? Oh, what can I do? I'm all alone again. I don't dare tell Mother and Dad. I'm too ashamed. 
Where can I go? That, that new boy who's playing John Wilkes. He liked me. I know he liked me. I could tell by the way he stared at me when he thought I wasn't looking. At the tryouts. He was real cute, too. Maybe... No. No, Carol James got the part I read for. They're probably dating already. It's Don. Sure. Calling to say he's sorry. I'll hang up on him. Hello? Hello. Is Don there? Oh, no. No, he isn't. Who is this? Uh, it's Phil Pantech. Uh, when will he be back? I, I got the whole thing worked out. What thing? The problem we were working on. I figured out how we can do it. Do what? Passing the cover on the tube. Like, didn't he tell you about it? Oh, oh, yes. Yes, he did. Well, anyway, with this, we can keep our unit cost down. Package the famous line of Lorraine Casey's world-renowned cosmetics in all plastic containers. Pretty terrific, huh? Of course, Don worked out most of the details of the session we had tonight. Yes. Yes, you must have. Well, do you know when he'll be back? No, I... Well, I'm not sure exactly. Okay, well, tell him to call me right away, will you? Yes, yes, I will. Then it wasn't true. None of it. I'm so happy. It's all so wonderful. This was what he was trying to tell me, and I, and I doubted him. I wouldn't even give him a chance. He really was working. And, and the lipstick smears. From Lorraine's lipstick, but not from her lips. Oh, what a fool I am. Don couldn't have touched her. Of course he couldn't. He's too straight, too decent. How could I have even thought about it for a minute? Because, because I'm not as honest, as fine as Don. After all, I was flirting with that new boy in the cast. Maybe that's why I twisted everything to make it seem that Don was bad. I wanted him to have the same thoughts I did. Then I got to believing he really did have them. Maybe it's not too late. He can't have gone far. Maybe I can find him. Bring him back. I'll find him. I'm sure of it. And I'll bring him back. I'll make up for it. It's Don I want. I know it now. It was Don all the time, but I got mixed up. I, I wanted to be married, and I wanted to act, too. I didn't want to do housework, and I didn't want to play small, unimportant parts. I've been looking old and tired, but it's not Don's fault. I was just fooling myself. Every other girl in the world must want a guy like him, and, and sooner or later he'll... After all, I couldn't blame him. Poor Don. Only find him.
no. Of all the bad luck, Lorraine Casey. Now it's really my fault they're together. I pushed him into it. And what do I do now? Shall I just go in as though nothing had happened? No, no, I can't. He might think I was spying on him. And that Casey woman, she might hear too much. She'd laugh me out of town. Oh, why did I get myself into this? This is sure mixed up. There he is, sitting with another woman, talking with her, when I want more than anything in the world to be with him. And he didn't even look for her. I drove him out of the house, and she just happened to show up. What will they do when he's finished eating? Where will they go? There's the Kit Kat down on Highway 15. And there's the Rumble Inn. And there's her apartment. There, I'm doing it again. I'm thinking all the bad things, all those nasty things that got me into this trouble. But how can I think of the other things? Please let me think of other things. He's my husband. He'll know I need him. He'll come home. By 10.30, he'll come home. I'm sure he will. If he comes back, I'll make this up to him. I've learned my lesson. I'll believe in him and believe in myself. He does tend to get involved in his ideas and forget about me. But I know now the real trouble is me. If I believe in us, he'll believe in us. He won't want anybody else. I'll never send him away again. Oh, he won't come. I I must be crazy to think he'd come after all I said. And he doesn't know Phil called. Or does he? Wait a minute. Maybe he fixed it up with Phil. Maybe it was all a fake. No. No, I know it wasn't fake. I know it was just me, my imagination, building things up that didn't really exist. Real nasty, green-eyed jealousy. I want him to be just as he is. And I want to be like I am now, loving him and believing in him. I'm not so bad. I make mistakes sometimes, stupid, silly mistakes. But please, I hope I won't ever make this one again. If I ever get another chance, but I won't. Oh, I can't stand it. Why did I? It's me. Are you home? Yes, darling, I'm here. I'm here. 